Hello, Paolo Synthmania. Tonight we take a look at the Emu Emulator 2, a sampler from 1984, a few classic sounds from that machine, and also we're going to take a quick look at the sound designer software for the Mac, which was used to edit sounds and also transfer samples um, to and from uh, the keyboard. All right, a quick look at sound designer before we listen to the sounds from the emulator. This is a really ingenious piece of software and allows you to edit waveforms. So you can do, you can build your own. So you wanna create a car plus strong. You can create your own waveform. And then you can do stuff like uh, send, it, send it the waveform to the emulator from the Mac to E2. So you can transfer the waveform to the emulator. And of course you can use any type of waveform. You can make your own, you can edit your own. And this way now you can also use, uh, you can play from the emulator or you can call up a MIDI keyboard from uh, the M. On the keyboard you can play from here. And so this is a Car Plus strong waveform we just created. You can merge waveforms, uh, you can um, edit them, of course. But since uh, today's editors are obviously uh, more powerful than uh, this, the way I use it, a lot of people I'm sure use it, is um, as an um, editor librarian for the sounds. And it's got a really interesting mode, which is uh, the front panel mode. So you enter front panel mode. And you have access to all these sections, uh, sequencer, filter, voice, uh, real time, control, sample. So say you wanna go to the filter, you just click here or just go to, to the module here, it's the same. Just click on filter, for example, and um, there it takes you to the filter page. You know, again, you wanna go to the um, VCA LFO page. There you go. It's a very powerful tool, special. You get all these, um, you can do the crossfades, etc. But let's quit this and uh, let's start loading some samples on the emulator. Very simple, just uh, go to extras and um, send back to emulator 2. And I have a bunch of sounds all over the place, this Macintosh, but uh, I have a CD with, uh, with the libraries. So we're gonna send some, um, maybe some um, original factory EMU systems. Uh, for instance, the grand piano, let's uh, send the, the grand piano. And when you do that, the keyboard will actually show under control of Macintosh. So right now it's receiving the bank from the computer. And there you go, it's done. And you got the grand pianos there. So let's check it out. And these are the famous Marcato strings. This disc has bass, synth, and drums. This is the bass and the synth. And 
let's check out the drums, typical drums of the era. And this is the Voices disc, and these types of sounds were absolutely stellar in 1994. Another mega famous uh, emulator 2 disc, this is um, Kalimba and uh, Shakuhachi and this needs no introduction, <laughs> I'm sure everybody knows that these was used in a lot of songs. And there is also a nice uh, marimba on this disc. And here is another classic disc, a variation also contains the shakuhachi but with the little different sounds and the loon. <laughs> And of course, these being the 80s, uh, orchestral hits cannot be amiss. And they used to program these orchestra hits. <laughs> and it was incredible when you went to the club. So I'll make a video about it one of these days. But this is um, patch one. Of course, later these types of sounds were taken to use um, to make another classic emulator disc: the expensive synth pads and liquid stacks.
Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.